Join me? I appreciate the offer, Mr. Barracuda. But what can you do that I can't? I've got the connections you don't. Could really speed things up here. I can't deny you fought well. Fine. We'll begin immediately. Hold up. My crit shot. I won't be any use to you until we restore my name. He is it. <laughs> Very well. We'll rebuild your legend, Eli Barracuda Jr., my right hand. Yeah. A scheme has succeeded. Okay, well, I'm going to need a power room. Let's make a big Not power room down here. to complete this construction. We'll make enough. You're right. Nexomon did it. Nexomon did it fairly well, but it wasn't really like Nexomon was just a giant joke. Let's see, protagonist of Drakengard who gave up his voice to become the protagonist. I would enjoy it if they actually remastered Drakengard. A criminal network has been upgraded. Because I've never actually played them, and I enjoyed Nier. I don't know if I do a series on it, though. That's the one toughie. A trap has been triggered. But yeah, Nexomon... I think Nexomon handled it well. Yeah, that's the trap. Unfortunately, this one did not trigger. Probably had already triggered. It was really fun just watching these guys get absolutely blasted over and over again. Uh, wow, yeah, my income is has been so dang good. Like, we're burning money. That much is certain. But we're not burning nearly enough for it to be a problem. Ah, I need more mercs. Right, that's the other thing. We gotta fix up Eli's reputation. Julius Bird's taken over the Barracuda Syndicate. Back over their biggest casino with a team of minions and a gravity ray. And show him Eli Barracuda isn't done yet. A criminal network has too much heat and has rocked down. I need even more mercs. You know, the interesting thing is, I did a number of these heists right in front of these these heroes, but I guess they just didn't give a shit because it took too long. I think they, I think they actually moved on. Oh, I'm out of money again. Where'd all my money go? I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> Near is a weird series. You're I like Nier. Out of gold. I'm looking forward to the uh, spend less. the oh. Nier remaster. Steal more. Sure, let's do that. That'll that'll solve me some money for ever. Let's see. I guess maybe I should just be patient and get some science done. Instead of just digging the stuff out. A scheme has succeeded. Let's see. Draken Guard, near replicant, whatever the second one with more manly protagonist was. And an automata, just weird. Yeah, uh, you're thinking near replicant, near Gestalt. I think Gestalt was the one with the father, replicant was the one with the brother? I forget. I honestly actually haven't played the near games. I I will admit the uh the, the new near is giving me I I'm a little sketched out on it just because one of the one of the female characters is wearing almost nothing and that's a little super weird. I'm like I'm fine with people wearing whatever the heck they want to wear. But it gets kind of weird when it's just like, man, you are wearing, like, the attempt at no clothing, but still wearing clothing.
Okay. What else we got? Gonna get more Doomsday Fuel. Nope, it's the same amount no matter what. You've run out of gold. Shut up! I'm fine! The heat at a criminal network has attracted the forces of justice. I feel like performing the heist should give me a lot of money. Oh. Well. A criminal network has been upgraded. What am I missing cost-wise? Is it money? It straight up does not say if it costs cash. Okay, here's another one. Okay, Julius Bird still isn't getting the message. Time to change his mind, literally. How are your minions? Bring him to the lair for a good brainwashing so you can remember who's really the boss. Fair enough. Let's see. Why don't you know you ran out of gold? A criminal network has too oh. much heat and has a Once we're down. done with this section, money will go back up. Digging is expensive. But yeah, my, my income is just crazy good. Even, even being low on cash, they are struggling to keep my gold count down. And the moment they stop digging, it just starts going way back up. Until it comes time to buy any of these, at which point it's going to drop repeatedly. But that's okay. Would have run out of gold if we didn't miss the wall gold. Ah! Oh shit, did I get him already? Yep, I did. Well, time to turn Eli's right hand into a worker. What do you guys think he's gonna turn into? Something is wrong with either the minions or the training room, boss. Because I think he's, he's supposed to turn into a hitman, probably. I will say, I'm a little disappointed with all of this. Like, I'm fine with the, uh, the yellow-suited minions being nobodies, but I almost feel like for every minion we have upgraded past intruder. that point, they almost should have, like, their own personal skill level, equipment, uh, foibles, and some other things, so you have to manage them better. But then again, I guess I've got nearly a hundred specialists in the base, so maybe that's not actually a good, good system. I just wish I could level up a guard so he's kind of like uh, a doomsday machine in his own right. Iris unit responding. I honestly forgot about her. Training resumed. Intruder has given us their secrets. Wait, why did I in interrogate him? Well, at least that didn't kill him. That would have been bad. At least I got to abuse him a little bit. Alright, so now what does he turn into? Task complete. Okay, let's close out of this for a second. No, where'd he go? Wait. What? Where's he going? He's just a minion. Wait. He's just a totally regular minion, but he's he still looks like Julius Bird. But he's he's no different from just any of my any of these guys. Is he? Or is he actual minion minion? No? I'm confused. Ah, huh. well. I guess he's just going to wander around until something kills the crap out of him. Maybe I have to actually uh, turn in the side quest to get him to pop up. Alright. I'm impressed, Mr. Barracuda. You've delivered on your promises to me better than my own minions could. That's a low bar. Can't be surprised when I hop right over it. You'll find I don't tolerate arrogance in my subordinates. Nonetheless, my organization could use your skills. That's what I like to hear. 
we're gonna make a whole lot of money together. <laughs> and much more than that, Mr. Barracuda. So much more. Yeah, he's Eli's right hand, who is uh, Ivan's right hand. What's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna hang there. All right, do your thing, my dude. Do your thing. Uh, and I'm already back up to 84,000 gold. Gosh, I just... It's one of those games. Okay. Let's just burn people to upgrade as much of these as possible. Okay, I'm out of spin doctors. Maybe, let's go up to 10 on everything. Because this way I can deplete people freely without issue. And my money is amazing, so the I don't need to worry about triggered. it. Okay. Because, yeah, his suit... I'm going to want to rip this whole thing up. Oh, speaking of science. Minions Lair. Yeah, we want to get... We want to get compact lockers. I guess we Research might as well grab Luxury begun. Bed. Because currently I've, I've got a bunch of lockers that are purely just... Uh, a trap has been triggered. To increase my minion cap in here. But they're on this floor. Which I, I really desperately need this space. Oh yeah, I forgot I had this like, secondary training room over here for the upgraded. scientists. Uh, why do you need 20 martial artists? I haven't the foggiest. See, who's the first guy you break in Mordor 2? The big one? Uh, so I have actually never played Shadow of War. If that's upgraded. what you're talking about. I really should someday, but it's I I played I think the first hour of it and it didn't it didn't run well. Uh so I gave up. And then I came back recently uh I guess a couple months ago I was just going to play it over Christmas. A criminal break. network has been upgraded. Just, you know, around Christmas I'd just play it for fun. And I started playing it and I'm like, "Holy shit, this game is just incredibly long." And then I just completely gave up on the idea of ever the heat playing it. Network has attracted the forces of justice. Like, I sincerely would actually like to play some of these these big AAA releases, but every time I take a look at them, it's just like, man, that's going to take me actual years to finish on my channel. There's no way I can feasibly do that. Research Unless it, like, paused. took over for a while. Yeah, you still need to play Shadow of the Colossus, right? Yup. A minion is deserting. Uh, let's see, would snack and drink machines placed in workrooms keep workers from leaving to handle those needs? Yes. It would at least slow it down, though it's based on proximity bonuses. Uh, so what I what I want to do quickly. Uh, A I want to do is the deserting. big base redesign before I actually really think about that stuff, because we we have so much space wasted on comms rooms all over the place here. Because I can take a lot of these comms rooms and, a criminal network has been you know, upgraded. just process buildings and move them away. Namely, this room can go elsewhere. I don't know. Maybe I'll make like a science annex. Training has I'm not stalled. really sure what to do with the scientists necessarily. Um, but taking these three comms rooms and moving them down to the basement will be huge. The odd thing is, as far as I can tell, Research even though there's nobody resumed. here, people are still working the consoles. Like, these are still triggered. functional regardless of whether or not there's a person to actually utilize it. A trap has been triggered. But if I move them down, maybe they'll be down there and maybe I can do some other stuff. I don't really know. Can you remove walls uh, between room types for extra space? Yes, you can.
Oh, it's so satisfying watching this happen. I'm pretty sure this is why Your my minions are trying to are leave, though. Full. Your votes are full. Because I don't think they want to be part of this process. They go figure they're trying to desert. But yeah, I, I've got Shadow of the Colossus. It's, I think, it installed on my PS5. Oh, look at them go. <laughs> How are these agents still... Their resolve is nothing. They don't want to be here. Research has been paused. Technically, neither do my technicians. I will stop you or kill you. Whichever comes first. Oh. Are we getting... Are we getting mobbed? Ow. Hi. There's Atomic Minions! Find the intruder! Kill the intruder! I can't wait till we get the option to just kill anybody that comes into our lair. I want that intruder found and It'll killed. make my life so much easier. I'll keep the deception flags, but then mostly just go for murder. I guess they already kind of do that to begin with, so I don't know. Oh, hey, we're maxed out on money. Your minions. I could kill a hundred of your minions before I would have to start trying. This is seriously the best you have to throw at me? You think what I came here to find out? I will leave for now. But there is only one way this ends. Right. Okay. Well, let's go back down to the basement. Because I'm maxed out on money. That's part of the reason why I stopped doing anything for a bit. That and we are having some power problems. Okay, can't do anything with that. But the rest of these are completable. You do not have enough power to sustain this build order. actually know if this is space efficient. I'm probably just going to have a line of generators just kind of going down the center like this. I realize we're about to get a new generator type somewhat soonish. Uh, nope, science is paused. Why? Oh. I wish it would tell me if science was paused because of something in particular, or because Bobby Stilton is just, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> is part of the reason why we don't get a whole lot of science done because my scientists are just like weird little mooks that like to just wander the heck off and do whatever the heck they want? That's probably actually exactly the case. A trap has been triggered. Of all the Team Ico games, but I feel like The Last Guardian has been unfairly maligned. I didn't like The Last Guardian that much. I thought it was very much an okay game. I think the big problem with... Uh, the big problem with The Last Guardian was that it took them so long that everybody was like, either it's going to be absolute, absolutely great and Research worth all the time resumed. that we waited on this, or it's going to be kind of just... Eh. It's, this happens with a lot of games that take forever to develop, where the t that, that time that it takes to actually finish is almost always an indication that it's been mismanaged, and not because it's going to be amazing. Most games that take a criminal network five years to finish have a reasonable chance of being great. Most games that take seven years starting to get dodgy. Ten, fifteen years? I don't know about that one. Uh, because you can see it with games like, uh, Duke Nukem Forever. Kind of The Last Guardian. Like, The Last Guardian was, it was okay, but it was no Shadow of the Colossus. And the thing is, like, Shadow of the Colossus set such a high bar for Team Ico that everybody was like, oh my gosh, you know, The Last Guardian is going to be amazing. And then they kept teasing it, because I think Last Guardian was originally teased as, like, an early PS3 title, Yeah. 
It was either an early PS3 title or like a a later PS4. Well, I mean, it was a PS4 title, but was it even a PS2 title that they teased it for? Like, they they were teasing it off and on for ages, and everybody was like, "Oh man, is it is it going to be ready? Is it time?" And then it was just like never time. And so it was very easy to just sit there and just be like, kind of memeing about, hey, is this actually going to be a thing? Okay. Oh, right. I was going to just room type. Because if I switch the room type, it gets rid of everything so much faster. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Rip it all up. And still gives me enough comms to handle all of my current setup. And gives me almost all of the first floor back. Uh, maybe not almost all of the first floor back. Tremendous amount of the first floor back. Alright, let's go back to making Donut Town. Let's go from here. So, ultimately, I don't think uh, Last Guardian was necessarily bad. It just... I, like probably a lot of other people, wish it had actually lived up to the hype. Same deal with Cyberpunk. Same deal with... Uh, I mean, Not maybe Outriders. To complete this I, don't, I don't think Outriders necessarily had nearly as much hype to live off of. Anthem? Well, I guess everybody knew Anthem was going to be trash. Mass Effect Andromeda, that was one. Took, what, seven years? After Mass Effect 3? For them to make Andromeda, and then when it fa finally came out, it was just kind of like, eh. <laughs> it was okay. I actually want to go back to Andromeda, now that, you know, the dust is settled, and everything is done, and just say like, hey, was this actually bad or not? Is there anything that useful that can fit in the middle of the donuts? No, I wish. But no, I, I think expectations are one of AAA especially, A uh, AAA developers, upgraded. AAA gaming. Uh, I think it's it's their greatest foe that any game that exists and released in a vacuum, a you can kind of just like you don't have to worry as much. About, like, whether or not it's going to be amazing. Upgraded. But imagine if Ori in the Blind Forest, uh, Ori in the Will of the Wisps. There resumed. we go. So, Ori in the Blind Forest comes out, everybody really likes it. Then Ori in the Will, Will of the Wisps. Imagine if that had taken Akrina seven years to make, and when it came out, upgraded. it was just okay. Everybody would be mad. Not necessarily because... Well, not necessarily be, because of the game itself. But because people had devoted that much emotional, like, weight to a single product for so long that, like, inevitably, almost any product that that releases in this manner, um... Like, almost every game that releases in this manner, that takes so long to release... Even if it, even if it's just boring, even if it's only just good, uh, because it's lived in people's head for, heads for so long, that's where the issue kind of rises, because everybody's kind of expecting, oh, hey, now that I cleared out those comm stations, everybody's down here, we should probably make a proper living quarters. And eatery and a bunch of other things. 
Otherwise, these people are going to be sad and hungry forever. Let's see what I can do. There's a couple of things. Okay, so we have a coffee, coffee machine. I really wish these were on a per-room basis. We might want to space this out a little bit. Then again, not for this room. You know why? Because it doesn't matter. These rooms work regardless of whether or not there's actually employees working on them. They could be totally deserted and we still get the comms strength, I think. So, if somebody knows better, please let me know, but as far as I can tell, there's there's no actual penalty for these rooms being functionally deserted. You have zero seconds to comply. That's not Iris. Why? Okay, it's over here. Who are these people? Your henchman is in combat. Oh, it's just a bunch of these dudes. That's kind of cool that she just has laser eyes. A criminal network has too much heat and has locked down. Okay, uh, let's see. Back down to the basement. So we're going to want to move this power room and turn it into something else. Where do I put it? I mean, the thing is, like, I've got... Here, let's let's finish upgrading all these networks because that's going to determine how much money I have. Never mind, I'm low on mercenaries. How? Uh, we need a bigger training room. We need a lot of things. Oh, right, no. We don't need any kind of amenities down here. We literally don't care about anybody working these buildings. The only places that we care about amenities for are straight up the uh, the science room, I think. Science and training. Those are the ones that we want people to be working on and working on well. Okay. What do we do next? Because the entertainment rooms are being used. Your scientists have discovered something. Uh, let's see. We do get the better beds. That's useful. Advanced guard table. A criminal network has been upgraded. Oh. We should probably also get the Super Serum Machine. Uh, what else do we have real quick? I like it how this just gives me a free... Uh, two broadcast strength for research. Like, that's actually of any value. Let's see. I don't want the capture protocol. Let's skip that one. Yeah, let's uh, let's go for the muscle minion now. Research health. has begun. Okay, let's go down one floor and take a look at this. Yeah, I think the biggest problem is I need I need two more research. And then we can get access to the lockers and the better power. The heat at a criminal network has attracted the forces of justice. And I think those are the ones that I care about the most, if only because... 
Uh, the extra lockers means I can I can redo the super locker room, and I can redo the power setup. I don't care too much. Okay, maybe the stun rifle and the rifle pack. And intruder protocol kill. Like, we might just want that one for just pure death. Okay. Back up here for a hot second. Um... A criminal network has too much heat and has locked down. Okay. I'm going to start turning a number of these into actual functional amenity rooms. I'm going to get rid of this door. No one, need, no one needs doors. Doors might have been useful once upon a time, but for me, I don't really care. So we're just going to start by having these. Okay, next up, room type, rock, lock that off. Next up. I want to do a staff room. What can I put into a staff room? Is it just the EGTVs? Huh. Yeah, I don't know if I'd necessarily change this too much. Because this back area is just kind of butts no matter what I do. Let's see, would a super large lab imposed. like the comms network, would it make research super fast? I don't think so? I'm honestly not sure how to optimize... Well, no, I, I am sure kind of how to optimize science. Let's work on that. Research has resumed. Okay. So, what we care about mainly is these. So I've got a drinking fountain and an air con. But we don't have a coffee machine. Okay. I just, I hate the fact that these bonuses are so... iffy. Because they really should be like a room-wide bonus. Okay. But yeah, we're going to turn this into a super grade dining hall, maybe? Actually, let's let's go back down the here. The heat at a criminal network has attracted the forces of justice. Let's, let's start digging out the ultra... Ultra bedroom. Not enough gold to complete this construction. Not that the ultra bedroom actually has any beds in it. It's just lockers all the way down. And then we'll upgrade these to compact lockers after a little bit. I just want to get rid of the the bigger locker setups in the upper floors. And move it all down here. I'm so glad I can control Z. I gotta get used to that. Most of these games never support control Z as an option. And so it's super weird being able to control Z in this game. You kind of wish I could click and drag. 
but the click and drag is rotational. Which is... makes sense! Not what I want. Yeah, I'm so used to using Control z all the time when I'm doing artwork. And it's a little strange. Let's see. It is a little strange that, uh... I don't know. Most More games don't have it? Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. I'm just thinking of, like, other games that actually have Control-Z in it. And the answer is, like, precious few. Oh, look at this. Heck, I might not need the compact lockers. I'll probably still go for them. But I might not need them. Not after this. Because here's the thing, none of my minions actually need to come down here to interact with my lockers. Well, that's going to cost a decent chunk of money, but that's fine. Why is there no pool? Yeah, I feel like this feels like a locker room for a public pool. Only thing missing is the benches. That's, yeah, you're right. Uh, let's see. Wonder you into on rail shoot 'em ups. There's one called out called Astro Dogs. Yeah, I I'm meaning to uh, to record some of it. I don't know when. I mean, I guess I could try and fit it in today. Cripes. Neighbors outside getting his mail, and I can feel the bass in my teeth. You guys don't have to hear it, but it is. It Research honestly sounds like a an air raid siren or something. Trap Man, has what been the hell? Triggered. Okay. Well, let's go back here. This is going to be the better sleeping room, because, yeah, we're definitely not utilizing this. Gosh. Yeah, we really are, are not utilizing this in the slightest. Okay, so I'm just going to do coffee. Confirm. Not enough rockers to support your current minion count. Okay. That's fine. We'll get there. This might hurt my minion count a little bit. But it's time that we redid this entire room so that my minions can sleep in it. Which, speaking of, let's expand it. Okay, rock all the way down. More bedroom. Perfect. So you can't spell rap with that crap kind of situation? No, it's just pure bass. Like, I'm pretty sure he's listening to uh, some kind of club music outside. <laughs> 